we've got water problems. Drinking water is scarce and sewage is backing up along the river. We've got to fix this. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my City Skylines Let's Play. Now, like I just said, we've got problem with um, the water. Over here, you can see that it's all very brown, which is fine, but that was just flowing straight down into this open water. It's now starting to get murky along the river, and if we open up this mode here, you can see the flow of the water. Most of it's going down, but some of it's actually coming up river. We're losing flow on this river. The river's flowing the wrong way. This bit of water is dead still pond water almost. Same round here, and we're getting a little bit of flow over these rocks, and it's it's really not going very well. It's flowing really fast here, but then we just lose it. So there's a few things we're going to do to try and sort out our water issues. First things first, these, these are old. These are, we get rid of them. Get rid of the lot of them. No, that's the wrong button. Right, delete that, yeah. Delete that, yeah. Come on. All of them. Don't want these anymore. Gone, 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 gone. Get rid of the pipe works that are involved. Because they're only in the way now. Peel back the power. Oh, we can't do that at the same time. There we go. And then above ground... Oh, why can't I go above ground? Is it because I've got water lines selected? There we go. Right, and get rid of that. Okay, so the reason why I've done that is because there's a new treatment facility. So this is the best that we had, water treatment plant. It was quite good. But now we've got this, the eco water treatment plant. Basically, it purifies the water on the way out. So we're going to put one right at the edge. And I really should have counted how many of these we need. Oh dear, that was a, that was a bad call. I should have counted how many th that was there, and how. I mean, I can kind of judge it based on how many across the screen. I think it was. If we look at the rate of flow put or output, whatever it is, this one. Hmm. It doesn't. Oh, drain capacity. It was uh, one hundred sixty thousand. This one's drain capacity is also 160,000. Okay, that's cool then. So then we can just link all this up. Uh, I think what we'll do is just link these together first. And then link that to the main network. Now the game is paused at the moment. So in theory, this construction happened instantaneous. And everything should be fine. We'll just have to reconnect the power. Is that in? I don't know if it is. Definitely is now. Um, and I think that should deal with it. Now, if we go into water mode and unpause for a moment, let's have a look. So, sewage treatment went down to nothing, pretty much, because these um, facilities have got to come online. And there we go, they're all coming online now because they recognise they're connected to the grid. And we're now we're okay. Now we're okay, everything is fine. Right, next problem, water shortages. Uh, and we'll come back and check that later. So, over here, there is a water shortage. The, this, you, these rocks were only just peeking through, I think, when we started the game. And certainly this area around here was not still water. It was flowing water. Oh, last time we were, um, we, was unable to, we was able to unlock a square, and we never did. And we're dealing with the water around here, so let's unlock this bit of land. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, I can now scroll around here. We've got access to the railways. I think there's oil in these hills. I can't remember, but that's all for another time. So, first thing I'm going to do is just remove the rocks. There we go. We'll flatten out the land a little bit. So, I'm going to dig... I'm going to dig this bit here down. Uh, looks like that'll be okay. And the water will just flow into that gap. There we go. Now... Uh, at the moment, we've got power generation in the middle of the water. Now, I have no idea if this is going to stop the flow of water or if it's going to reduce the flow of water or anything like that. But just in case it is, we don't need it anymore. We've got brilliant power for uh, producing facilities over here. I'm going to take these out. Uh, 
And there we go. So that's all of them out of there. I'll check the power soon, but I'm almost certain we'll be fine. Uh, next thing we're going to do is all these water inlets. Um, we could keep them there, but I had an idea the other day uh, while I was thinking about this city and this problem. I was like, well, this is the only viable place for these inlets to go. They have to go near our water source because we can't have them downstream because they could get close to where the bad water is and we don't want bad water going into our city and we've got this area around here which is slightly polluted so we have to keep it north of that well i say north i mean upstream and i thought there's no other possible place where we could take water from is there yes we can take water from the other uh, the other stream when we started we didn't have access to this stream up here but now we do so uh, we don't dump into that river at all so we can just come down here and add the facilities we need and we've got the money to do it he says checking the money and now how many have we got and how much are we at so we are producing way more than we need so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve ish i reckon 12 would do the trick so if we can get them in down here which it looks like we can that'll be fantastic so here we go one two three four Five, six, and it keeps them all together. Seven, eight, and out the way. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Let's connect those up. I love that noise it makes. It, it's it's a noise that makes me feel achievement. Ding, 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 ding. And then we can just do this. Kablop. Now, because our, our entire city is one vast interconnected water network that should do us just fine should so what we'll do is we'll just run the game a moment allow those facilities to come online come on nearly all of them and there we go power's a problem around here apparently well we'll sort that out we'll just fork that off there and then that should be resolved as well Come on, there's just... Uh, 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 there we go. So our water availability should now be off the charts. And we can come down here and get rid of these ones. Now, I don't know if having these here make the water level go lower, but it certainly would make sense to me that that was the case. So, let's get rid of all these. There we go. Now, we've got all rid of all of them. Now, we're going to actually leave the game running while we're taking these other ones away. Okay, here we go. So, we can see the amount of water availability dropping. Um, yeah, we're starting to get a little bit low on the water. Okay, so we need to do something about the amount of water available. So, either we need more of these... Or we need to save water. Let's have a look at our policies. Where's our policies? Is that, no, that's not our policies. Here we go, our policies. There's a water usage policy, but that has a five cents upkeep per building, and that, if citywide, would cost a lot of money, I bet. Where's our money screen? Does it tell us about... Oh, we don't want the fire service having an over budget. That was because of a disaster we had, and I didn't mean to do it. Come on. Yep, 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 nearly. Yep, come on. And yep, there we go. Right. So, policies is. It says it's costing us 37,000. It's gone up to 38. That's. Oh, 40. Okay, so the policies is it, it, really growing. 43. Okay, so that policy is costing us a lot of money. But presumably, water availability is going up. So, let's say you can no longer have smoke detector distribution, parts and recreation and recycling for now. No, we'll leave recycling because that directly affects our garbage, our trash. So then, can I remove some more of these? Let's have a look. Bulldoze. Yep, there we go. The water availability just went up because that policy is starting to take effect. Just went down too much. 
Yeah, we're in the red now. Okay, okay. We need we need more of these things over here. Lots more. Lots more. Oh, hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. Okay. This is why we're having problems. The water dried up. Wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to have some along this bank then. There's, I mean, we could put them on this side of the bank now that we've bought that square to kind of keep them out of the way a little bit, but that is a little bit disappointing. So I don't know exactly how many we'll need, but I've got at least two to get rid of there, and we're in the, we're in the bad. So let's hook these ones up. And we'll see how it goes. We've got to get power over here. So that's probably something I should have thought of. Let's just bring the pipe to here. Connect it there. What? What do you mean space already occupied? Get rid of it. Okay. And power. Um, I'm pretty sure I can just do that. Yeah, I can. Brilliant. Okay, so that should be okay. That should help a lot of our problems. And I guess these it shows you which ones are online. So we've only got two online? Wow. That is crazy. Okay, let's let's bulldoze the rest then. Or at least most of the rest, because I suppose I could turn them off, couldn't I? But if there's only a little bit of water coming down here, we can only take a little bit of water from the system. Let's leave three there. We'll just get rid of this little bit of pipe. Okay, well, that was that was unexpected. So these new ones should be coming online. We'll get rid of these two. I wasn't expecting to drain that river. At all. There we go. And of course, we can go above the ground now. Huh? Above the ground... Which one's but there we go. Uh, leave that in. All right. How's the water situation? Water situation is good. Are we still pumping from two? Yep, we are. Look at that, draining all the water out of that. It's all just dried up down here. I really didn't think that we'd we'd pull that much water out of the system. That's obviously what was happening down here. And look. The river seems to be filling up and flowing better. Look here. This was a lot more greener area and stuff. Water's actually coming in here now. Uh, did I set the water policy? I did, didn't I? Water usage and the recycling. Okay. Power usage I don't care about. Well, could I care about? Is it going to save us money? No, probably not. Probably not. Yeah, it's reminding us that we've got to build an airport. But to be honest, I'm a bit busy. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We are sucking some of the water out the system here, but overall we've got plenty of water availability by the looks of it. I've got a tiny little bit of water pipe here that's pointless, but that's okay. Let's see what the situation is over here. Where's the water going? Where's the pollution going? Oh, look! Pollution is dropping round here. Let's have a look at that. So open up pollution. Oh yes. Okay, so we've still got a little bit of water coming upstream at the moment. But that's next to nothing coming out of there for the future. Hmm. We've still got water flowing up here. Think it's going to take time. Look, it's starting to speed up around there. These arrows are definitely starting to point in the right direction. Yes. Okay, I think... I think that is the water crisis pretty much averted. I don't know if that bit of... I, I, is this needed? Uh, it looks like it could potentially be needed, these, these power lines. Tell you what, they probably wouldn't be needed if we just did something like this. Because then the power would come across here and go that way instead. And that'd be neater as well. Brilliant! Okay. Well, well, well. Power situation is looking fantastic. 
Water situation is still all good. Our sewage treatment's through the roof. So I guess we may as well turn off a couple of these facilities. See what the treatment's like there. Mm, that looks all right to me. We're still in the green and we've got the buildings there that we can turn on at a later date if we require it. Now that water um, keeps jumping up and down and I wonder if it's anything to do with this third pumping station turning on and off. Oh wow, we lost the second one. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. Now, one of the things I noticed while I was scrolling through all the buildings on fire, brilliant. It's just one building. There's a local fire department nearby, I'm sure there is. Oh, it's the train station. Oh my goodness. Oh, th this is not good. Th no, n not good. Th there's, the, there's the potential screenshot for the, the, <laughs> the episode. Oh dear. Let me try and get it. Oh my goodness, this camera's a bit wayward, isn't it? Oh dear. Look at that. Right, well, I'm sure that somebody will be coming pretty soon. I mean, the fire department... I mean, we're there. The fire station is literally down the road. There's the fire, the first fire engine. Look, it's already on site. Are you kidding me? It went past the train station that's on fire with a train inside it to help this little building out at the end of the street. Oh, it's alright. There's another one there. Crisis averted, I think. Oh, okay. Now, whilst I was in the watery stuff, that's the technical term, watery stuff, I noticed um, something down the end. Oh, here it is. Fresh water outlet. This outlet lets excess water in the system out. So you could maybe fill a, make a pond or fill somewhere. In our case, what we can do is we can use it to push it back into the river so anything that we don't use can go back into the flow of the river. So if we put that... It needs to be on the network. I guess we could put it here. And then just connect that up. I don't know if it's got a maximum throughput. It has. 24,000. I guess if we just put a small bank of them together, though. There we go. And any spare water will get pumped out. Back into the river. Uh, I think we're okay for um, electricity here. Yep, they've just connected up. That's not a problem. So in theory, this water availability, where we're in the green, sh these should start pumping it back in. Oh look! There we go, two of them are working. Three of them are working. Absolutely fantastic. And that should be fresh, unused, clean water going back into the system. Um, so that should help with the flow of water. And look at this. Look at these arrows now. Bold, beautiful arrows this may not be so good we might be picking up some foreign contaminants there but we're starting to meet where the weak water is going the wrong way and in fact some of it's starting to flow the correct way so this brown sludge should go soon look at this look at this our harbor's starting to get cleaner oh this is brilliant the, the thing that isn't brilliant is these ones here we're going to move these we're just going to put them along this road Move them further away from the water. Our money in the bank is going up slowly, so that's fine. What's this building? Oh, it's the bus depot. I don't even know if I've got bus routes anymore. There we go. So now we can actually get rid of this bit of road. And that bit... Ah! Well, we've got some wind turbines there, but I don't think they're actually connected. Oh, they are connected to stuff. That doesn't need to be connected anymore. All of this is interconnected. We've got our trunk across there, across there. Yep, power looks like it's got a nice little grid going through it. So, there we go. Hopefully that will improve things around there. There's a little bulge in the, the landscape there. Maybe between episodes I should just uh, tidy up the landscaping. But I just realised that uh, 
it's probably due to the bridge. Eh, that looks like it could be a little bit even. I suppose I could just smooth this bank out a little bit. We could probably just grow this bank slightly. Uh, we've got all this land here. We can just use the kind of the contour lines to bring that land up. Is that going to... Oh, actually, that's quite high. <laughs> I didn't realise how high that was. Okay, let's use the flat tool. I want I want to flat, flatten all this, please. We're going to take this roundabout as kind of base height around here. And this, this re I think it's a residential home of some description. Yeah, there we go. Smooth it all out. That, that's actually a little bit better. What is that? It's a child health centre. So it is a res place of residential homes. It's just for tiny people. Oh, I forgot about that bit of track that I left there. It's costing us maintenance, and I really don't think we need it anymore. So... Da 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 dee. Yep. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. How are we doing over here with our water? Oh, look, the water level's gone up. The water levels, these were um, barely touching the water level, these structures before, but now they're flowing into that brilliantly. I think we fixed all the problems. I mean, it certainly looks like the water's starting to flow around here a bit better. Yeah, it's all moving the right way now. Looking good. I mean, here it's slowing down, but give it a chance. It looks like it's working its way down. We've got a tiny patch here now. This is going to get flushed out, surely, and uh, hopefully one day this big brown area will go away. Another building on fire. Where is it? Fire. There we go, over here in Hellish Wood. Wow, that's one of the um, flour mills. Well, I can see we've already got fire engines at the scene. Um, although the fire engine does seem to be stuck in traffic. There's two of them. It's behind another vehicle. Why is everything... Oh my goodness, the crop fields are on fire now. Oh, oh my goodness, there's another one on fire. This is not good. I mean, I think there's a... Yeah, there's a fire station just up here. Where are my helicopters? Well, there's one of them. Oh, this is not good. Though I think either one of them burnt out or got dealt with by the fire service. I can see that there are fire engines all down the road here. Traffic's going nuts. That looks like it's going to be okay. Ooh, there we go. Good town fire planning there from me. Fantastic. This road's getting busy. Is that normally busy or is that just because of the emergency? Also, this lane's wrong. Silly lane management. Look, like that. That's how we should do the laning around here. And here. Uh, yep, all around this roundabout. There we go, that's much better. Any other bits of traffic? I think it's just because these buildings make it busy, and I don't know why they're all going this way. They seem to be coming round. I don't know if it's because whether they're visiting these buildings or not. Yeah, something's not right here, like. Yeah. We definitely need to do something about this. Maybe make it one way. All the... It does seem to be improving, though. Maybe, maybe it was just a compound thing where it's the busy area and there were lot, fo lots of fires. How's my lake, do, uh, my um, my dry river doing? So at the minute, uh, apparently all three of these are actually working. Oh no, one dropped off the grid again. Um, and this looks like it's kind of drying up. Uh, maybe we can help push it along a little bit. Like just go, whoa. Just, oh, I can only go up to the line. That's a bit of a shame. Maybe that'll push it out into the estuary. There we go. Well, folks, we've done various different upgrades and bits and bobs, and the water situation for the town is still very good, both in water availability and sewage treatment. And the river is looking better than ever. I think we've fixed all the problems, and of course we'll be pumping much less bad stuff out now. 
I expect this brown area will slowly dissipate over the coming episodes. Um, and we've only got one more square to unlock. And once we've unlocked that square, we'll fill it up with stuff. And I think that will be us. But next episode, because that's going to be all for now, uh, we're going to be looking at getting the airport in. I really, really want it to be part of this transport and leisure hub. Although where we're going to put it in, I have no idea. How big is it? Let's have a look and see how big it is. Uh, what's this? Airport. Okay. Okay, so it's not ridiculously big. It is quite big, though. It, it is rather big. We, we may be able to... F oh, my goodness. This is, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> I've, I've got a challenge on here. It would be quite nice to have it somewhere over here, maybe. But then we'd need a direct link. Maybe we could have it here... But then have like a roundabout or something that sends road vehicles in. And then a train link to it with a metro and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see about that next time. Oh, is there a rocket ready to go? There is. Let's finish the episode with another rocket launch. Well, there we go, folks. I have been Master Hellish. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have... Give it a like, share it with people you know, and uh, remember, go to masterhellish.net for more information about me and the various different things I do, including giveaways and live streams. But, as the rocket disappears up into the sky, let's go to this mode, I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching, take care, and goodbye.